all the most real joys of the earth. You know, the food that we get to nourish our bodies with and the art that gets to nourish our soul. It's all together and it's all interlaced. My name is Nancy Chang. I work primarily with forms of digital art and photography, as well as with fabrics, textiles, and things that I can hold. <laughs> I've been making art since I was very young and have in the recent years been experimenting with different mediums with the through line of those different mediums being around ecology and our connection to the earth and exploring queer ecology with all those mediums as well. I think my art tends to want to slow down a little bit and uh, exist in that exploration and kind of learn more deeply how all of these elements are in conversation with each other. So one thing that I've been really striving for in my art is to show how closely related humans are. In fact, how we inherently are just a part of our environments and we're not separate from our environments. So oftentimes with my photography, I'll have folks kind of like be underneath the tree or within the tree, just kind of in their favorite place and interact with whatever tree or plant that has a special connection to them and try to capture that and show that. With my textile art, it's about mm, capturing kind of seasonality. So what's blooming during that point in time, um, if we are able to make weeds beautiful, kind of to show a different sides to what we consider as ugly plants or as undesirable plants. And I think with my digital art, I really like to create things like the, um, like the peach meditation to kind of slow things down and be in like a meditative state with whatever they encounter on day to day. I don't think all the emotions that we feel as humans are meant to live inside of us and only our bodies. I think they're meant to exist outside of our bodies. And I also think that connections that people feel to our art, it's almost like an impulse, like creating happens because it happens. And then what happens afterwards can be beautiful and magical. Play is something that I feel like for me is heavily associated with laughter and with making mistakes and letting your ideas become whatever they become and just allowing yourself to embrace all the feelings that come up in creation and knowing that it's not always like a straightforward, easy process. We're next to the communities that have shaped my art and my art practice. These are, these are the native trees that have made this place feel like home and, and feel familiar. I think my art practice really is just about where can we feel a sense of belonging. I think about the mysticism and the wisdom of these trees a lot and how much they've seen and how resilient and beautiful they are and to have gone through so many seasons. So for them to regenerate themselves every year and drop their acorns and offer so much like abundance into the world, they just have so many lessons to share and I'm continuously inspired by them.